Okay, today I can find angle measures related to triangles and their exterior angles, okay? There is a theorem that, you know, there are, there again, there are several ways to do this. I'm going to teach you a couple different ways, all right? All right, the sum of the angle measures, and remember we need to clarify that, it needs to say interior angle measures in a triangle is a, how much? Oh, please tell me you just said 180 degrees. Okay, we went over that yesterday. We've got three angles interior. Here's one angle number one. It doesn't matter which ones you name what. I'm just kind of showing you the interior. Okay, we also have exterior angles, and this is where it kind of gets kind of kind of crazy. You have this angle. Okay, you have this angle, and you have this angle, okay, because these lines are coming off of here, this is forming an angle, all right? So without measuring, determine the measures of the missing three angles. So there's a couple ways we can do this. Remember, let's do it this way. We got two ways, okay? All right, first way, all right, is this. I'm going to do first way. Find angle three. So here's the number three right here. I'm sorry, almost didn't let you see it. Okay, so we know that the interior angles equal 180 degrees. So it says we're missing, we're trying to find the three missing. So three, four, and five. Okay, all right, so we're going to find angle number three. So 180, subtract 74, subtract 53, and we find that that number, 180, subtract 74, subtract 53, is actually also 53. So this angle right here is 53 degrees. Okay, so this is 53 degrees. So, equals 53, okay? Then step number two, that's step one. Then step number two, so first we did this, then we're going to do number two, okay? Number two is add the two non-adjacent... interior angles, okay? Now I'm going to have to tell you what I mean by that. Non-adjacent. So if I'm looking for, let's say, angle number five, all right? So let's say I want angle number five. So I'm going to write on here, I need angle number five, okay? According to the, it, to the angle, um, the in exterior angle sum theorem, okay? I can add the two non-adjacent interior angles. So for angle number five, non-adjacent means they don't touch it. They're not next to it. They're not close to it. 53 is next to five, okay? So these two are not near it. So I can take angle number 53, plus the angle measure 74 because they are non-adjacent to number 5. Add those together, 53 plus 74, and I get that that measure is 127 degrees. Okay? Now, if I wanted to find angle number 4, I would take the two non-adjacent interior angles. So since 74 is adjacent or next to 4, I'm going to add 53 plus 53, and I would find that 53 plus 53 gets me 106. So angle number 4 is 106, and angle number five is 127, okay? So now I've found all the angles they wanted me to find. 
The crazy thing is this. Here's the second way. And rather than show you down here, I am going to show you here because we already have our information. Okay? So, if I do this, what have I just drawn? I hope you said a half a circle or a semicircle, and we already know it's also a supplementary angle because it's half, okay? It's 180 degrees. So I could do that using supplementary angles. So I could take 180 degrees, and I knew that this angle was 53, so if I take 100, I'm sorry you can't see this, if I take 180 degrees and subtract 53, I get 127. So you can either use the theorem way, which is add the two non-adjacent angles and you'll get 127. Or if you know the angle that is the supplementary angle to the one you need, you can do 180 degrees minus that. Either way works, okay? So in that regard, let's find here, let's see. Well, I guess we're, we're just going to ignore this whole example, okay? So I'm going to show you, we're gonna talk about the next page. Exterior angle theorem, and this is the theorem how it's stated, okay? And it, it sounds crazy, but we have to teach it. The measure of the exterior angle of a triangle is the sum of the measures of the two non-adjacent interior angles. Okay? Non-adjacent. Let's, let's define that word just so we remember. Non-adjacent means not next to. That's the easiest way to say it. Okay? So, the measure of angle 1 and 2 would equal the angle, the measure of angle 5. Okay? It's as simple as that. Okay? 1 and 2, because they're not next to 5, would equal 5. Okay? So let's look here. If the measure of angle 1 is 50 degrees, okay, and the measure of angle 2 is 60 degrees, determine the measure of the exterior angle, number 3. Okay, well, if I did it the first way, I'd have to do two steps. Okay, so um, number 1 way is first find interior angle so I would have to do 180 missing find missing interior angle so 180 degrees subtract 50 subtract 60 would give me if I put that in my calculator 180 subtract 50 subtract 60 it would give me 70 so then that tells you this is 70 degrees Okay, then step number two, then find supplementary angle. So this is a two-stop process. This is way number one. So I'd have to do 180 degrees, subtract 70, and I would find that it's 110 because I would have to do that supplementary angle right here, okay? And if that works for you, then do it, okay? Now, if 
the second way so that makes this 110. Second way which is I think way easier is to know the theorem. You just have to add the two non-adjacent angles and you get the, the, the exterior angle. So second way add the measures of the two non-adjacent angles. So all I would do here is 50 plus 60 which gives me 110. See I still get the 110 but it's only one step. Now sometimes you have to find this one in order to do that. So it just depends upon what the situation is, what is easier. But if you find one way works for you, then you should always do it. All right, the measure of angle one is 25 degrees, they're saying. Okay, so I put my 25 degrees. The measure of angle two is 85 degrees. So this is 85 degrees. Determine the measures of the exterior angle. Number four and explain. Well, our explanation is our determination. Okay, so this is what I do know. If I use way number two, all I have to do, because angle four is non-adjacent, all I have to do is add the two non-adjacent interior angles. So this would be the measure of angle four would be 24. 5 plus 85 is how much? 25 plus 85 and you get 110. Okay? 110. So that angle has to be 110. Now I'm going to prove it to you. This has to be 110 using the other way. Way number 1. Okay? First I'm going to find this angle that's missing on the interior. I'm going to do 180, subtract 85, subtract 25, and when I do 180, subtract 25, subtract 85, I find that it is 70 degrees. Okay, so now I know that this angle right here is 70 degrees. So then I can do my supplementary angle and I can do 180 subtract 70 and I find when I put that in my calculator 180 subtract 70 it's 110. So some students get confused with this. Don't make it harder than it is. Okay? Alright, let's do this last one. Angle, angle criteria for triangles. If two angles in one triangle are equal to the two angles in another triangle, then the measure of the third triangle are in both triangles are congruent. What does congruent mean? I hope by now you know congruent. Same size same shape. Okay? Given the following two triangles, determine if angles A and D are congruent. Okay? Well, let's see. This has this and this has two lines, so I know that they are the same. So this is going to be 70 and they're saying that these angles are the same and this one is 65. Okay? So, if I know that those are all the same, all I need is 180 subtract 65. They're wanting to know what is this angle and what is this angle. And this would be our third angle. Okay, minus 65 minus 70 and we would have 180 subtract 65 subtract 70 and we would find that it's 45 degrees. Okay, so both of them are going to be 45 degrees degrees. Okay? Alrighty. That's all I have for today. Your practice. Okay? Sometimes you're going to be given this. 
where uh, you have your two non-adjacent and they want to know what is the measure of angle C. So what are we going to do there? We're just going to add 42 plus 79 to get it. It's the easiest way. 42 plus 79 and we find out that that is 121 degrees. You might want to go get your paper because I'm going to do a couple just to show you the different things that you need to do. Okay, now that's going to be fairly simple. Look at that's the same, that's the same. Remember what is that measure right here on number six? Mm, hopefully you remember it's 90 degrees. Um, so everything looks good on that side and everything is looking pretty good on this side. Now number 14, you have to make a decision. They want to know what is the angle measure of that one right there. Okay, and that is Z. The Z was left off. I'm so sorry. So you need to make sure you write a Z on there. Okay, here they've given you both ways to do it. So 13, you could just do your this 180 minus 37 and you could get it it's half a semicircle okay so it's up to you given the following number 15 given the following two triangles determine if angles A and D are congruent what is the measure of angle A so I'm gonna let you it's just like our example we did on on our notes I'll let you figure that out and we're here to help you remember you have a quizzes to do when you're done